Hey, what's up Blender users? I am Jonathan from Germany, that's worth this weird accent. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you the new fluid and smoke solver in Blender 2.81, which is Mentaflow. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider doing so, because I will be uploading much more content in the future. And with that said and done, let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay, up until this point, we always had the normal Blender fluid solver, which consists out of two elements, which is the fluid simulations, um, which, has, which has all these elements, um, being domain, fluid, obstacle, and so on, and the smoke <coughs> solver, um, having a domain flow and collision object. But now in Blender 2.81, there is Manta flow. You can, by the way, download Manta flow by going to download Blender 2.80, and then scrolling down, get experimental builds and exper experimental branches. There you have the Mantaflow fluid branch. Okay, so what is different? Uh, first of all, you only have a fluid option um, because actually smoke and liquid simulations are both fluid simulations, so it's combined into one button which means if you press this button you will have <coughs> domain flow and effector and for this cube I'm just gonna choose flow and you can see that the standard flow type is smoke and we're just gonna duplicate this cube scale it up a bit and now we have our domain and for that I'm of course gonna choose domain so we can see that the domain has a few types or actually two types which is one gas and the other one is liquid and gas is of course uh, smoke and fire simulations and liquid are fluid sim uh, well liquid simulations being water and oil etc in this tutorial i'm going to stick with gas and make a little smoke simulation and um, because because this is probably the most used simulation type okay so uh, right now we have a flow behavior geometry um, which means that it does not emit constantly smoke, so I'm just going to use inflow for that. And yeah, this is um, right now it. Um, we can also choose fire and smoke, which I'm going to do right now. But uh, down here is also liquid, so this is how you can make water simulations. Okay, so Manta Flow has now another um, or simulates in another way. Um, because if you would just press play, nothing happens. Um, in the previous Blender versions, it would show the smoke, but this is not the case with Mantaflow, because you will have to bake the data. Um, also keep in mind that the standard end frame is 50, and I'm just going to leave it there, but um, to have it last your whole animation, you will have to set it manually. Okay, um, so just press bake data, and I'm just going to stop it right there, and you can see um what it did um it baked till the i don't know 13th frame and then it just stops playing <coughs> but here we have um our first smoke simulation in mantaflow what is really great about mantaflow is the resume option and because now i can just press resume and it will start baking from my um from the point um, where i stopped it previously so I'm just gonna hit escape again and we can see that a nice smoke plume forms. Um, of course we can adjust the resolution divisions but we would have to first free the data and then adjust them to another number, probably a higher number. Okay, right now I'm just gonna go with 32 because this will be much faster and then I can also show you the other stuff. Okay, of course you can also check dissolve but you will have to bake again for every thing you change you will have to bake again so for example um, adaptive domain you would have to bake again and also dissolve and other changes you make in here okay the next part or okay how manta flow is is arranged um, you will first bake the let's just say overall simulation and then you can bake in more detail this is also how the fluid simulations work you first bake the flip, which are only the particles, and then you bake the mesh and other particles. So this is also how the smoke simulation in Mantaflow works. You will bake the overall simulation first, and then check noise 
and if you check noise and it's not baked the smoke simulation will disappear and then you can just press bake noise and this noise is essentially the high resolution option in Mantaflow. You can either just up res your current simulation mm, or bake in a noise but you can also of course turn down this, the strength. Okay if I play this we can see that now we have some noise going on here which we just baked in and overall a pretty nice simulation. You can see that it's pretty fast with Mantaflow. Of course there are a lot of things you can set here just like a flow and effector group and also of course the field weights and the viewport display but this is not um, what we're gonna need in this video so I'm just gonna stick with that and to run this all off I'm gonna quickly just make a little shader which um, will just consist out of the principled volume so if you have node wrangler enabled um, control shift and click on the node and now if you go into rendered view we can see that we just see the smoke and now we have to up um, the black body intensity and we can see that we start to see the fire. What um, I like to do is just um, get a really high number into the black body intensity like for example 50. Um, so now we can see that the fire is really glowing but the smoke um, is not that visible anymore so also make it more dense for example with 10 um, and of course this is just gonna look a lot better in cycles like that. You can also adjust the temperature the nice temperature is always 1200 um, for me and yeah this is how I go about making smoke simulations of course you will have to bake in a much higher resolution um, and also then a higher uprest factor but, um, well, this is of course, for the sake of this tutorial, not needed. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you liked it, consider liking and subscribing. This would really help my channel. And if you have any questions, then leave them in the comment section. If you want me to make a tutorial about fluid simulations in Blender 2.81, then just leave me a comment. And we're going to see us in the next video.